Good afternoon, friends and followers. It's Cat's Cooking Kitchen again today, and this afternoon we're going to be making a low carb keto dinner. Anybody would like. If you like the ingredients, you'll love the dinner. Doesn't matter if it's low carb or keto or full calorie, full fat, whatever. So let's get started. I thought I'd throw this stuff together. It's all stuff I like. And we're going to start out with four cups of chopped chicken. You can either use canned chicken, rotisserie chicken, your own leftover chicken, just so you have about four cups. I've got it in my 9 by 13 pan. Grab a couple of paper towels. Okay. All right, I have my oven set at 375 because I'm chopping up the broccoli, but it won't be steamed or anything before I put it in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put about a teaspoon of salt over the chicken. My hands are still damp from handling the chicken. Okay, we're also going to put in a little bit of pepper. Not a whole lot because we have. I'm going to put some uh, chili flakes in it for just a little bit of heat, but not not a terrible bunch. Now we're going to put in about a teaspoon. I thought maybe Italian. Oh, smells so good. About a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Okay. And probably, I want to be able to spread it around, so I'm not going to be able to measure it all that well, but I'm guessing I'll be using about three teaspoons. Or two. Let's go two. Two teaspoons of garlic. Minced. You can uh, mince your own fresh garlic. I like having it in a jar. It's just a real convenience for quick and easy dinners. And I, like I've said before, I'm all about quick and easy anymore. Uh, okay. So now we have that. And then I thought, what did I, oh, I put my bowl here. A lot of people use cream cheese in these kinds of recipes, but I like cream cheese in sweet desserts, not so much in savory dishes. So my choice is ricotta cheese instead. So I'm going to use about eight ounces of ricotta. You could use cottage cheese or cream cheese. Just eight ounces of that is what I'm using. Like I said, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along here. So, and I'm going to use a little chicken stock. Let me see. Oh, I'll get a measuring cup just so I can tell you how much I'm pouring in. Start out with a little less than a cup, I'll say. It's just I was thinking I might need a cup. So we'll start out with a three-fourths cup, because that way I can always add more if I need it. Well, that's going to look pretty good. I hope it's not too much. Okay. Then we're going to... This is what we're, you know, would be uh, like a white sauce, something without flour or uh, fattening, uh, carby ingredients, flour is 
Anybody that watches their carbs knows flour is a no-no if you're trying to stay low carb. And definitely a no if you're keto. So here we have that. Now we're just going to drizzle it like, you know, like a white sauce if you're going to make scalloped potatoes, macaroni and cheese, something like that. I'm just going to pour that over. Okay, that looks good. Now all I have to do is chop up my broccoli into small florets. And that doesn't really take much time. And hopefully, if I chop them up small, they'll cook faster. I'm not really too sure how long this will have to bake. I'm guessing 35 to 45 minutes. I want to save some of that crumbly stuff for sprinkling on top. You know, like, you see a lot of dishes on the cooking shows, TV, and uh, the web, YouTube, whatever, you're watching them. And they always like to give a sprinkle of color to their dish when they're done. So I thought, I don't keep fresh herbs around very much because I just don't get them used. And then I end up wasting most of them. But I thought, since I'm chopping broccoli, this would leave me little buds off the broccoli that would make a really nice garnish. So that's what we're doing today. And if you wanted to do half broccoli, half cauliflower, I think that would be really good too. I don't have any cauliflower today, so we're just going to use broccoli. plenty of what I'm going to call broccoli dust <laughs> and it'll be used as our garnish. I think I can get all this broccoli in here. The more broccoli the better as far as I'm concerned. I love this stuff. Not very much broccoli left, so we'll just go ahead and put it on. I got a pretty good size, or I guess there's more done at this end than this end, but it's 12 ounce package of fresh broccoli florets, and four cups of chicken, remember. Eight ounces of ricotta, cottage cheese, or cream cheese. Whichever of those three you want to use in it, if you tend to make it. I think um, cottage cheese is a go-to for low-carb and keto. But it's still low-carb, keto dish. See, not all, you know, when you think of diet food and... Oh, no, they're eating low-carb. I'm not eating that. This isn't, this is something anybody that likes chicken and broccoli, cheese, that they would like. So it's not, not a big deal. Okay. And there's our dusting for later. And now I'm just going to put a mix of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese on top. I'm 
I'm really looking forward to eating this. Just thinking about what I had in the refrigerator. And Monterey Jack isn't something I usually keep on hand either. Now, strict keto and low carbers, you're better off to buy a block of cheese and shred it yourself. I cook for convenience and quick. The old body just doesn't want to stand up and be out in the kitchen for hours at a time. So, and with age comes aches and pains. So, if you're old like me, I'm having a little shoulder problems. I don't want them to get any worse. I don't want to have to have surgery. So, my, my plan is not to. So, there you go. I'm using the easy peasy pre-shredded stuff and I do that a lot so here's our meal or our, our chicken broccoli dish and I think I'll cover it with foil so my cheese doesn't get too done and that's it flip this over so the non-stick side is on, on the casserole side of the, of the dish. We're going to stick it in the oven. And I will be back when dinner is ready. So hang in there, everybody. Nice having you watching me. Really appreciate it. Hi, welcome back, everybody. I ended up cooking this for about 45 or 50 minutes. And I covered it with the foil, and I had forgotten to take it off. So about 10 minutes ago, I did take it off. And I also had forgot, I mentioned I was going to put some red pepper flakes on it for a little extra seasoning. I realized I'd forgotten to do that, so I sprinkled them on top of the cheese. So that's where we're at right now. Looks like it needs to sit... a little bit got a lot of liquid in the bottom probably from the chicken stock you might have to cut that back a little bit to maybe half a cup next time but it looks good let's get a spoon and or a fork here and let's get a taste of it while the rest of it gets to sit and rest. The cheese. Chicken and broccoli here. It's really hot. You can see how that's steaming? That's going to burn my mouth. I guess why wait on that to cool just a second. Let's take some of our broccoli dust. Just sprinkle over the top of that. That's kind of pretty. And I love broccoli raw or cooked, so there you go. Pretty, pretty dish. Let's see if you can see it a little better. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty casserole? I can guarantee it's yummy. Let's give this a taste and see. Mm. That is really, really good. Really, really good. This is going to be a once a week meal for me and my husband, as we can both do with eating a little lighter. So I hope you guys will try this. Let me know if you do, please. I'd love to know what you think or any changes you might have made to the recipe to make it a little better. I, I like it a lot. So until next time, shall we? It's been a great day. Looks like rain right now, but uh, all is good. All the crops and the grass and everything needs its water too, just like the rest of us. So drink lots of water and keep the happiness and the joy in your heart, people. Live day to day like it's your last because we never know when we'll be called home. 
and I try to do as much as I can when I can. So it is so good to have you all come and visit me here at Cat's Cooking Kitchen, and I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll keep tabs on me. I can be found on Facebook or YouTube under Cat's Cooking Kitchen. That's Cat's with a K, apostrophe S, Cat's Cooking Kitchen. So come check us out, y'all, okay? Thanks a lot. Take it easy.